It's November 1st. You know what that means. Discounted Halloween candy. Let's get into it. My name is Emily, I'm a dietitian, and today we're gonna to review Halloween candy. Quick disclaimer, normally the options at stores after Halloween are still pretty diverse, but my assist my assistant went to <laughs> my partner went to different stores and couldn't find like anything so we're working with what we can some things i've never even heard of so we're just gonna see what happens and we're gonna review these halloween candies so there are three different criteria i'm going to review these candies on number one is mouthfeel how satisfying is it to eat what does it feel like inside my mouth? Is it a pleasant experience? Stuff like that. Number two, we're gonna rate the candy on in Halloween fashion. Okay, quickly going back. In Halloween fashion, when you're a kid, you get an abundance of candy. We're gonna number two, rate it on how much I think I could eat before I get sick of it. Just because when I was a kid, you get, you get so much and you just eat, 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 eat. You're allowed to. <sighs> I'm gonna talk about how much I think I could eat of it. The third thing we're gonna rate it on is if I were to receive this as a trick-or-treater, as a 26-year-old trick-or-treater, no, no. If I were a child, we're gonna, we're gonna manifest, get back in the state of our, not manifest, we're gonna recenter and become our inner child again. Or if you are a child, you're gonna stay that way. Would I be happy receiving this candy as a gift? This is completely subjective. Nothing I'm talking about is objective. Disclaimers made. Let's start off with our first candy. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Miniatures. I will note I've had some of these, so I'm not coming in completely blind, but it'll be fun. Look how cute the little packaging is. Very cute. be sweating by the end of this video. Okay. Nope. Our first candy. Look how cute they are. Influencer hands. It has little bones on it. Alright, let's try her out. Ready? You. First thing we're gonna know when we talk about the mouthfeel. The chocolate provides that great crunch, but then the smoothness of the peanut butter gives that like silky texture. A great combination of the crunch and the silkiness and the smoothness. I don't think I would like this. I don't know if Reese's has ever explored this, but like chunky peanut butter, I don't think I'd like that. Like the crunch, actually maybe I would. I do like peanut. Like peanut M&Ms, love that. Maybe business idea Reese's, and if they've already done this, let me know. Crunchy peanut butter. Let's explore that, see how we like it. Great mouthfeel though. Second criteria, I'm already forgetting what I said I would do. Oh, if I could eat an abundance of this. So this is where I already know I'm gonna get some hate. I love peanut butter. Reese's is one of my least favorite candies just because of how rich the flavor is with like the chocolate and the peanut butter. It just like feels like a lot going on and I can't handle that much. So I probably would limit myself to maybe like one or two just cause it'd be a lot for me. Last and the last criteria will be if I received this as a child, would I be happy about it? I'd say I'd be pretty happy. It's not a bad candy. 
It's a very popular one. And if we're in the game of trading candy, this is a fan favorite, so I could maybe get something I'd like a little bit better very easily. So cheers. Let's finish her. Don't mind me as I just leave all my garbage up here. I promise I'll get rid of it. Alright. Fun oh, no. We're gonna do this next. What did I just say? We're gonna do this guy next. Because I already know I'm gonna have strong feelings about this. So we have Kit Kat, Breaking Bones, Crisp Wafers, and White Cream. Essentially, the Halloween themed white chocolate Kit Kat bar. You guys get to see me struggle with open bags. controversial because I know white chocolate is a, a touchy subject in the chocolate world. Ooh, does she have something in her? Oh, it's the wafer. Duh. There we are. Cute. And I am not a heathen who takes a bite out of this at once. Let's, let's be gentlemen. I did not. Oh gosh, I'm making a mess. Oh no, we're not. We're good. All right. Break me off a piece of that. Fancy feet. A buzzer just went off. I'm cooking dinner right now. Hold on. Momentarily pause. I need to make sure nothing's burning. Oh, okay, I'm legitimately sweating. But the show must go on. Let's start off with the mouthfeel. Right off the bat, Kit Kats are one of my favorite candies. Great mouthfeel. The crunch, the crispness, the thin layer of chocolate. They're doing great. Good job, Kit Kats. The thing I don't like, and that comes into the second thing we're gonna talk about, is how much I would eat of this at once. Probably one. I'm not the biggest white chocolate fan, so. I'm not too into this. And then would I be excited to receive this? Maybe only one. I'm Like I said, I'm not a big white chocolate. If I were a child, although as a child, I did like white chocolate quite a bit, so I probably would have been excited about this. But as a 26 year old child, I would not be excited about receiving this in my trick or treat. Pumpkin basket or pillowcase, the OGs know. The next one that I'm so excited for. I've never seen a bag this big of Albanese gummy bears. And I'm not complaining. I'm not upset. Is it because my hands are sweating? I'm literally overheating. Places. By the end of this video, I'm going to have sweat dripping down my face. These smell so good. Easy. All right. Ooh, let's do red. That's my favorite. Spoiler alert. <gasps> Look at these little guys. He's just a baby. Influencer. Influencer hair. She's so small. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mouthfeel incredible. Gummies are one of my favorite candies. It's not too chewy and it's not stale, which we love. Albanese, in my humble opinion, makes the best gummies. Hit me up. I'm very open to eating these for days. Second criteria, what was it? How many of these could I eat? Probably the entire bag. I could probably eat this entire bag and then I feel sick after, but I could, I could fly through gummies especially gummy, Albanese gummy bears, no problem. Would I be excited, my inner child? Would she be excited to receive these? Absolutely, gummies are her favorite. 
26 year old Emily, child Emily, also very excited. Oh, we're having another one. Yes. Uh, add them to the graveyard. Our last candy is one I wanted to leave for last because I've never seen this. It says Feastables and then it says Crunch Milk Chocolate and D's Nuts. Is everyone, is everyone else seeing this? Is this a Mr. Beast brand? Mr. Beast has a candy bar? Since, since when? So these are all the same, I'm assuming. Did everyone else, did everyone else know this? Since when did he have his own candy bar? Can I have my own candy bar? Uh, oh, okay. All right, let's, let's show them off, because I'm, I am confusion. All right, so these are the big three different ones I'm seeing. <gasps> They're different. We're gonna have to try them all. I'm so confused. Okay, so we see the three. These nuts on top, milk chocolate, crunch. I'm blown away. Let's start with milk chocolate. Okay. Cute. Okay, it's solid milk chocolate. Let's run through it. it. Tastes just like a Hershey's, like a normal Hershey's chocolate bar. Mouthfeel, it's fine. I'm not a big, like, just chocolate fan. The crunch was fun, though. That was fun. <coughs> and then, <coughs> I should have brought water. What am I doing? Self-care did not enter in the chat today. Would I be excited to receive this? I didn't even know this existed at first, so I'd be a little confused. I'd be like, what, what is that? My inner child, was Beast and Beast around when I was trick-or-treating? I mean, he was around, but like, was he famous then? I don't know if I'd be excited, that's honestly, because I had no idea what this was. How many could I eat of these? Probably not a lot. I'm not the biggest chocolate fan. I think it's honestly a little bit boring. There's a time and a place, and the time and place is not now. So we'll add them to the graveyard. Let's do crunch next. Is this gonna taste like a crunch bar? Are these knockoff brand candies just with Mr. Beast? I mean, do they somehow pair up with him? And I'm just like unaware of this. Also, hold on. I'm waiting for an alarm to pop and I haven't heard it. I'm a little nervous my food's not okay. Oh my gosh, okay, so the food is okay and it looks incredible. I will show you guys at the end. I'm starting to get the point where I'm getting a little bit of stomach ache. Um, I should probably have done this after dinner. I had a little more some of salad something in, but oh well. This looks just like a crunch bar from behind. What is happening in the House of Commons? Look at the ratio of milk chocolate to the crunches. This tasted just like this one with like a sprinkle of crunch. Mouthfeel, not great. I would have liked more crunch, less chocolate, maybe make it a little bit more thin so there's more crunch or just add more of those little crunchies in. Would I get excited to have this if I was, or nope, we're, skip, we're skipping the things. We have a system, Emily, and we stick to it. How many of these could I eat? Probably also not a lot. It's just very strong chocolate candy and I just don't love those that much. So maybe like a couple. Would I get excited to have this? I'd probably rather have the crunch. All right, we say the black best for last. We have D's nuts. <sighs> Kudos to Mr. B's. My milk chocolate with peanut butter, it says. I thought it was gonna be like peanuts. Let's see how she looks. She looks the same as all the others. They all have the same look to them on the outside. Hold on. 
I don't know if you can see it, but there's like the slightest feeling of peanut butter. Peanut butter. I'm a little disappointed. Mouthfeel, whoa. I thought they were gonna be like nuts, like sizable nuts, like peanuts in here. But it was like peanut butter. Could I eat a lot of these? Probably not. Similar to the pe Reese's peanut butter, I just don't love a lot of the chocolate peanut butter. I know, I know, don't hate me. These are just my opinions. Deal with it. Last thing, would I get, be excited to get this? Probably not. Probably not. So that was my review. So far, honestly, the favorite is probably the Albanese gummy bears. Way to go, Albanese. You killed it, slay. Otherwise, a little disappointed in the candy haul this year. Hopefully there'll be more variety next year, but we'll see you then otherwise. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Let's go see what, I'll show you what we're eating for dinner. Otherwise, catch you next week. It's been fun.